What's good everyone, it's Adam Farmy's Mogul and today Logic has been updated to 10.7.5. This is a point update, but it is not a point update by any means. There's a bunch of stuff that is new in Logic. In this video, I'm gonna break down some of the most notable features, so let's get to it. If you are a track stack user like myself, now in Logic Pro 10.7.5, you can go ahead and nest track stacks within track stacks. So here I got myself a nice track stack over here. Let's say I want to separate these three tracks from the original track stack. I could just go ahead and create another track stack within a track stack. So an easy way to group tracks within a track stack. Next up, we have a new tool here and it is called gain and it makes it really easy to adjust gain levels on your regions. Let me show you how. I'm gonna go ahead and just bring in an audio file right over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and change my third tool over here over to a gain tool. Now watch what happens when I use that third tool, which is my right click on my mouse. So now all I gotta do is hover over that region and then right click and I get this gain tool right over here and I could quickly adjust gain levels like that very, very quickly. So if I go ahead and just change my second tool over to a scissor tool over here, if I'm editing audio away, I can go ahead to each one of these regions and quickly adjust the gain level on each one of these really quickly and easily. Next up, we have a free record option now in Logic Pro. Now that means Logic will listen to whatever you're playing in and it will automatically apply a tempo map to what you've played in via MIDI or live instruments. It's really cool. No longer do you have to do a tap tempo or figure out the tempo you want. Now just go ahead and play out your idea and Logic will work in the background and figure out what the tempo is. So all you gotta do is hit this free record button over here. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and play what you wanna play. Now, once you hit stop, you're gonna be presented with a couple of options. But if you just want Logic to analyze your region and apply tempo map to what you just played, go ahead and select the first one and hit apply. Now Logic will give me a nice region that is tempo mapped and ready to go. And we can go ahead and see our tempo map right over here. It's around 98 beats per minute. So I can go ahead and delete all that, select 98 beats per minute, and then start my project from there. Now that magic, you could say special thanks to the new and improved smart tempo analysis in Logic Pro 10.7.5. There's new machine learning going on and anything that you're working with smart tempo stuff is gonna be a whole lot better. So any audio that you drag into the DAW, it's going to analyze that a whole lot better any audio that you record into the DAW is gonna be analyzed a whole lot better. As you just saw with MIDI, audio works the same way, really cool stuff. Next up, I'm gonna show you something that's really cool and something I've personally been wanting for a long, long time. What I'm about to show you is going to greatly improve your workflow if you work with a lot of MIDI effects plugins. So here we are with the piano track. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Logic's chord trigger. So as usual, you can play a chord with one note in Logic's chord trigger. Right, really fun. But the problem is if you record, Logic will only show the note that you hit and not the actual chords. Well, now that has changed. If we go ahead and go right under that MIDI effects plugin, you'll notice a new option over here called record MIDI to track here. So if I go ahead and select that and hit record, you'll notice that Logic now records in that actual chord data rather than just the one node. And what's really cool, if we go ahead and add in a second MIDI effects plugin, let's add in arpeggiator, we can go ahead and record that arpeggiator data as well. But what's really cool here is I can decide where I want to record that MIDI info. So if I go ahead and just lower up the arpeggiator over here, now, as you can see, these arrows over here are right under the chord trigger. So if I go ahead and record once again, it's gonna record in those chords and not that ARP info. So really flexible in how you wanna use it. No longer do you have to go ahead and use third-party apps to sort of export the MIDI data or crazy routing within Logic to get that MIDI info. It all can be done live as you record. The next thing I wanna show you if you use pedal board a lot in Logic Pro, I think this one is something you're gonna like. Now you have all 35 pedal board stomp boxes available as individual plugins. To bring that up, all you gotta do is go to the usual spot, amps and pedals. And this time, instead of going to pedal board and loading in your favorite stomp box, you can go over to stomp boxes and choose which one you want 
all categorized neatly. So if I go to one of them, let's go to modulation and let's go to Robo Flanger. I go and select that. Here is the stomp box as an individual plugin. And of course the window is resizable. So if it does load up a little small, you can go ahead and stretch that out to your liking. Next, if you mix a lot in Dolby Atmos, this may be for you. With iOS 16, you can now go ahead and personalize spatial audio settings to your exact specifications, i.e. your head. This takes mixing and spatial audio to a whole nother level as it's completely personalized to your physiology. Now, I didn't personally do it myself yet. I will go ahead and do it and try it out and show you how as well in a separate video. So if you're interested in that, let me know down below. Logic Pro 10.7.5 now has Ableton Link support. So that includes any hardware, any software that uses Ableton Link. You can go ahead and link Logic Pro up to all those devices seamlessly. So let's go ahead and add in that option. By default, it's not loaded. So I'm gonna hit this arrow right over here, go to customize control bar and display, and make sure modes and functions, this sync box is checked. This will bring up this icon right over here. And if I hit that box, I'm gonna set it to Ableton Link. So here we are in live. I bet you didn't think I'd be showing Ableton live in a Logic Pro update video, but here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and hit link right over here. And if I go back to Logic, and you'll see that we have one device over here, and it even shows you the beat count as well, as you can see it going around and around the circle. If you have any external gear that supports Ableton link, or you like to jam and create like a digital symphony with other producers who use live or any other doll that supports link, now you can do that very seamlessly and very easily. And finally, some notable mentions. On this channel, we produce a lot of trap, pop, hip hop type of music, and there are new mastering preset chains to get that polished sound at a click of a button. So if you go over to your stereo track over here, you'll notice you have three new mastering preset chains it's off my screen, but I'll take a screenshot for you and show it up right here. You have knock A, knock B, and knock C. And those are different algorithms for different type of music. Some for more of that boom bap style hip hop, some for that hard hitting trap sound that we do a lot on this channel. As I was sorry browsing through 10.7.5, I noticed there's a download icon next to the electronic drum kit section. And that means there's new drum kits. So be sure to download that as well. So there you have it. That is the 10.7.5 update. It is a free update. So go download that, update it from your app store. I will go ahead and take a look at the full breakdown of what's new in 10.7.5. And if I see anything that's sort of eye-catching, definitely put out a video on that. I'll also be doing more in-depth tutorial videos on some of the stuff I showed you here. So if you're interested in seeing that, be sure to hit the subscribe button. But if you do have any questions on this or just wanna chat about the new update, let's talk down below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Later, peace.